Hello everybody, today I've got a really quick little tutorial for you on finding a component's GUID in Grasshopper using Python. I've been doing a lot of uh, scripting projects on the side at the moment and I thought this was a good little tip to share with you guys. Of course, every object in Python has its own GUID, so if you're using uh, any programming language like Python or C to um, modify or automate those components you need to know it's GUID. The more cumbersome way is if you select an object like a number slider hit control C which will copy the components XML. We can paste and have a look at that which has all the code XML for that component under here and then we've got our items count numeric slider for single values and here we've got its instances GUID. That's the cumbersome way of doing it. We can do it a bit quicker, especially when we're doing a complicated project and we've got a lot of different uh, components that we might want to automate or reference in our script. So there's the object GUID just for reference. What I'm going to do is I'm going to load that up in a Python component and that way I can always have this ready to go and uh, can easily copy the output from this instead of having to copy and paste XML all the time which becomes cumbersome after a while. So if we double click in the middle of our component we get our new uh, Grasshopper Python script and it's simply a matter of for input in grasshopper environment component parameters input we're going to take the first source in in input dot sources and a our output a we're going to convert that to a string using python source dot instance G your ID and if we test that what are we on three a equals string ah, instance there we go all right so if we grab a fresh panel our A output and they should be identical yep so now we can just copy that data if we want to use that in a Rhino script or a Python script inside of Rhino and of course if we have another component we can quickly get the GUID of that one this is this little component is going to be used in an upcoming tutorial I've got underway Hopefully some of you guys find that helpful.